What's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today we finally have the long-awaited makeup collection video. I'm so excited to share this with you guys. It was my New Year's resolution to get this up. So yay for sticking to it. Just a little bit of a disclaimer. I just wanted to say that yes, I am a YouTuber, but no, I am not by any means a makeup artist. So my collection might not be as big as maybe another makeup artist collection here on YouTube, but I am very, very proud of what I have collected over the years, and I'm very excited to share it with you guys. Everything in my makeup collection are things that I switch out with my everyday makeup. So the majority of my makeup is stored in this baby right here. Just to give you a little bit of background information on this unit, I was looking for a old school library catalog. I found it on a website called Kijiji, which is basically just like a Craigslist type thing. It was sitting in an older gentleman's garage. It hadn't been touched in years. The unit itself is just the green part. The legs are from Ikea, which I spray painted black, and the top is just a piece of wood from Lowe's. Along with this unit, I will be showing you guys where I store my everyday makeup which is attached to my desk as well as all of my palettes. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Okay, so starting on the top left of my unit, we have my primer and foundations drawer. Now you'll notice in this unit that there are these little ridges right here on the side and basically what you can do with that is take these little separators and kind of make your own sections. So that's what I'm using to organize within the organizer. I have the Stila One Step Correct which I just recently got and I have been loving. I have a mini professional and I also have the L'Oreal Magic Lumi. Now if you pull the drawer out a little bit more you will see my foundations. I have the MAC Studio Fix Fluid. This was my holy grail foundation for so long. I do still love this foundation. I just think that MAC is a little bit too yellow for me. Even the pink ones are still like way too yellow for me. I also have the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Foundation. These two foundations, they are Maybelline and they are ones that I wore in the summer. I have the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer. I have the It Cosmetics CC Plus Illumination. Way at the back, I have a NYX BB Cream. And yeah, so that is it for my foundation drawer. Next up, we have my concealers and powders. And I have a lot of concealers, you guys will notice. I went on a concealer craze this summer. I have a bunch of Maybelline. I have the Better Skin. I have an Age Rewind, the Bare Minerals Stroke of Light Eye Brightener. Really do love this. I have the Hard Candy Glamouflage, this NYX concealer in a jar. Pull the drawer out a bit more. And this is just where I keep my powders. This is the Wet n Wild Coverall Pressed Powder. I like it. It's a bit chalky. This is the NYX Blotting Powder. I was absolutely in love with this stuff, so I have a backup. And yeah, so that is it for my concealer and powders. This next drawer is my pride and joy, my highlighter drawer. I love highlighters. They seem to be the makeup product that I gravitate towards the most. So right here I have all of my ColourPop highlighters. These are kind of the ones that are super good for pale skin. This ColourPop highlighter is probably one of my all time favorite highlighters ever. This is called Monster. It turns pink and it has this amazing gold reflection. The other highlights I have are Smoke and Whistles, Spoon, and this is Hippo. Over here I have the Kat Von D Metal Crush Eyeshadow in Thunderstruck. I have the Anastasia Beverly Hills Starlight Illuminator, which is just like a stunning piece of friggin' art. And I also have two of the Becca highlighters as well. This one is in Pearl and this one is in Moonstone. Going a little further back, I have two of the NYX Born to Glow Liquid Illuminators. You will see further in the back that I have two of the NARS Copa Cabana highlighters. These were one of my favorite highlighters for super long. I have this e.l.f. Baked Highlighter in the shade Pink Diamonds. I have the Too Faced Candlelight Glow. And then I also have the Mary Luminizer, which is a cult favorite, of course. And in the very back, I have a Benefit high beam. I have this MAC Vanilla Pigment because I used to use this as a highlighter non-stop. I also have the MAC uh, Mineralized Skin Finish in Light Scapade. I have an Urban Decay Naked Illuminated one as well. Moving on to the next drawer, we have my blushes. Blush is something that I only recently really kind of gravitated towards. For the longest time, I was wearing this blush and this blush only. Just one of the MAC regular blushes, and this is in Well Dressed. This was it. This was my pink hair blush, Well Dressed by MAC. I also have this MAC blush in Full of Joy. It's a very like purpley blush. I have two of the mineralized blushes. This one right here is called Gentle, and this one is called Dainty. I have two of the ColourPop blushes. I have this 
this Urban Decay blush. I have the Hourglass blush. This is in Luminous Flush. And then I have this Bobbi Brown Brightening Brick. I have this Too Faced blush. This is in the color Justify My Love. This is the Smashbox Soft Lights Prism. This is the Milani blush in Romantic Rose. And just in the back of this drawer, I have two e.l.f. blushes and I have Benefit Coralista. And yeah, those are my blushes. This next drawer is a little bit sad, but it is my bronzer drawer. I don't really bronze all that much. Mostly I just contour. I have this NYX Wonder Stick, which I wanna do a video on. One of my favorite contour um, products ever is the NYX Powder Blush in Taupe. So I have that on hand and I also have a backup. I have the Tarte Park Avenue Princess, which is very, very pretty. And I also have this e.l.f. contour palette. I have two CoverGirl bronzers and then I also have the Annabelle Biggie bronzer. This is the matte one. I absolutely love this. This next drawer is my baby. It got a whole drawer to itself because, oh my God, it is just to die for. So if you guys didn't know, Ellie Golding recently just did a collection with MAC. This is the Halicon Nights uh, full face kit. So it has four eyeshadows, a cream color base in it. I have two of the Patton Polish lip pencils. I got two of the push glasses. These are what the lipsticks look like. The one on the left is called Only You and the one on the right is called Without Your Love. This is the baby. This is the one that I wanted so desperately. It's called I'll Hold My Breath. It's a powder blush, but it has like a bronzer contour with a blush in it. And yeah, just a beautiful collection. So. It got its own drawer. This next drawer has a couple things in it. It has NYX, it has MAC, it has Wet n Wild. So it's kind of a mix of stuff. These are all of my NYX soft matte lip creams right here. I also have two of the Intense Butter Glosses. I also have a NYX Liquid Suede Cream Lipstick. This one is in the color Stone Box. I have a bunch of the Butter Lipsticks. These are all of my MAC. Saint Germain was like a really big favorite of mine. Ruby Woo, Snob. I have a bunch of these Color Chase Cosmetics cosmetics lipsticks. I have a couple of the Wet n Wild. This next drawer is my big ColourPop stash as well as LA Splash and Winky Lux. These are all of my lippy sticks right here and then I have the ultra matte lips right here. This color right here, Clueless, is my favorite ultra matte lip. I'm a huge fan of ColourPop's hyper glossy finish. So these are two reds. The one on the right is called Juicy. The one on the left is called Go Fish. Going back a bit, I just received these Maybelline Vivid Matte Liquid Lipsticks. I have one of the Velour Lips Matte Lip Creams and then I have three of the LA Splash Liquid Lipsticks. In the back here, I have all of my Winky Lux glossy bosses. You guys saw I did a swatch video on these babies and I also have these lipsticks which come in quite a neat packaging. These are my two favorite colors. The one on the left is called Mermaid. The one on the right is called Smoke Show. Moving on this next drawer is primarily all of my Lime Crime, Urban Decay, and Jeffree Star. Yeah two of my first like opaque lipsticks like this were Lime Crime lipsticks. Um, Great Pink Planet and Delilacs. I also have a ton of the Velveteens coming to the back of this drawer, I have all of my Jeffree Star lipsticks. That's the start of my collection. I know it's gonna grow. <laughs> I have two of the Anastasia liquid lipsticks. Actually, I have three, but my sister has one of them. Brittany, give it back. <laughs> At the back here are all of my Urban Decay lipsticks. I have a swatch video on these babies, if you guys wanna see that. This drawer right here is kind of a mess, but what can you do? I'd love to own like you know, a perfect collection and have it all be like the same shape and size and color, but not realistic. So here I just have all of my etc. lipsticks that, you know, don't really have a family. But in this drawer are some of my all-time favorites, which I will point out to you guys. This is the e.l.f. matte lip color in Tea Rose and the Wet n Wild Velvet Matte Lip Color by Fergie. This NARS pencil in Train Le, this is it. This is my holy grail, dark lip color. Then I have four of the CoverGirl Colorlicious lipsticks, a Sephora lip gloss. The last one I'll show you is this baby. This is my favorite red lipstick of all time. It's by Avon. It is a ultra color rich moisture seduction lipstick and this is in red kiss now mine has seen better days mine broke off but i tried to save it so it's still hanging on i will link a video below where i'm wearing it you guys will probably fall in love this next drawer is pigments eyeshadows random just kind of eye things um in the front here i have two mac painterly paint pots two of the maybelline color tattoos i have one of the australis metallics eyeshadows i have a bunch of the new color tattoo concentrate crayon. These are a bunch of pigments by the brand Color Chase. This next drawer I had such a hard time organizing so this is kind of as good as it's gonna get. 
Um, I used one of these like containers from Walmart just to kind of keep everything together. These are all of like my eye crayons, mascaras, things like that. I have two of the Urban Decay Brow Tamers, NARS pencil, a Benefit They're Real. And then back here I have four of the Urban Decay 24-7 Waterline Eye Pencils, just all in different colors. I have three of the Lime Crime Eyeliners and then these are the NYX Mascaras. On to the bottom row. <laughs> this drawer is dedicated to brows. None of this stuff I'm currently using at the moment. I have a NYX one I wanna try. I have the Anastasia Dip Brow, which I was using more so in the summer. I'm not really using it right now. This next drawer is a random palette drawer. This isn't my palettes, don't worry. These are just like smaller palettes. These CoverGirl eyeshadows I absolutely love, super pigmented. This drawer is all of my false eyelashes. There are a ton in here. I had more than I even thought I did. These are more if I'm doing like tutorials or something, I'll come in here and grab a pair of lashes. There's a ton of different styles and you name it, it's all in here. So uh, yeah, it's good to kind of have on hand. Can I just say this drawer is also like such a pain to close. Next to my highlighter drawer, this might actually be my favorite drawer. Let's let's be real, my glitter drawer. It just has a bunch of like different glitters. And so I just come in here, grab a glitter if I need a glitter for literally anything. There's a bunch of like glitter stickers at the back, lots of fun stuff. Love this drawer, so colorful. This next drawer is my nail polish collection. It's a little excessive. Essie called, they want their nail polish back. And this last drawer is just brushes that I don't use very much, so I just keep them in here, nothing special. Okay, so this is the storage that I use to store my everyday makeup. This is an Ikea Alex drawer. In order to spruce it up, I decided to paint this ombre orange on the drawers, which I absolutely love. The top drawer is where I store all of my everyday makeup. So this is like super easy and quick just to go and grab. So in this first drawer is all of my foundations. These are the three concealers that I keep in my everyday makeup. The newest addition to the family is this Anastasia one. I am in the shade 0.5. In this next drawer, I have my NARS setting powder. The two primers that I have on the go right now are the NYX Photo Loving Primer and the Hourglass, I believe this is, yes, the Mineral Veil Primer. I keep this Benefit eyeshadow in Guess Again, just kind of in there, cause it's like a really nice crease color. I also have my Benefit Hula Bronzer, which has been through hell and back. It's almost time for a new one. I also keep these two Wet n Wild um, kits in my everyday makeup. These are my babes, they are amazing. If you don't have them, pick them up. This is the perfect contour color for me. This blush is phenomenal, super, super pigmented. So is that highlight. In this back drawer, I have my everyday lashes. These are a bunch of individual lash glue. This drawer, it's a little bit crazy, but I have my beauty blender. And then I have all of the mascaras I'm currently using. My favorite of the bunch is the Dior Show New Look Mascara. The brush is just so cool. It's so little has a little bit of an angle to it. I have some Essence Brow Gel. I have my Kat Von D Liquid Liner. And I have an Urban Decay Brow Beater and an Anastasia Brow Wiz. So this is my brush holder. I got this from Target, but it's actually a pencil holder. So you're supposed to put your pencils and your pens and all that kind of stuff. This one is mostly my eye brushes. These Sigma Copper brushes, I think they're absolutely beautiful. And this one right here, this is mostly all of the brushes that I use for my face. And this last little section I have lip liners and so here are my palettes this is how I keep them stored I have these old license plates that I got at a antique market and now they kind of serve as bookends I keep them stored on my desk I like looking at them if I were to put them in a drawer I probably would forget that I have them and I wouldn't use them as often this is the morphe 35p it's a beautiful cool toned palette this is the urban decay vice 4 palette this is the stila in the light palette the two naked palettes that I have are the Naked Smoky and the Naked 2. I also have the new Urban Decay Gwen Stefani palette. One palette that I wanted super, super badly was the Lorac Pro palette. I recently inherited the Smashbox Double Exposure palette. One of my favorite palettes of all time is the Reveal 2 palette by Coastal Scents. It has these beautiful sparkly pinks. I have both of the Lime Crime Venus palettes. I have this Kelly Osborne MAC palette. I have the Sigma Fall Softly palette, which is a beautiful kind of pastel palette. I just recently got a Z palette and I'm really really proud of it. This top row right here is all Morphe shadows. This row right here as well as this blue shade 
are all Morphe as well. These four in the corner are all Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is a MAC shadow. And then these five shadows right here are all ColourPop shadows. The last of my palettes are contour palettes. These are the Maybelline Master Contour. This is the NYX Highlight and Contour Pro Palette. These are super, super pigmented. I absolutely love this palette just as much as my Anastasia one. Speaking of my Anastasia palette, I actually made my own palette. It's almost the same as the light palette, but I switched out two shades. One of my all-time favorites is the Coco Contour Palette. It smells like chocolate. It smells like heaven on earth. So that is my makeup collection. I hope that you guys enjoyed watching. Let me know if there's any palettes or any products that you guys would love to see me use in a tutorial. If you aren't already subscribed, please feel free to hit subscribe. And other than that, I will talk to you guys in the comments. Bye!